Hi, welcome to How to Repair. This video is on how to maintain your soap drawer, clear any blockages and maintain the fabric conditioner tray which we're looking at here. The fabric conditioner tray works on a siphon system. You have one tube which I'm pointing at there and then the other tube sits over the top. So once the tray is full and with conditioner when the water flows in it causes a siphon action and pulls the conditioner out. This is where the soap drawer sits and at the top you have a load of holes which is where the water sprays through onto your powder or conditioner. These need to be maintained and kept clear. So we're going to give the whole of this area a good clean and then we'll test it by turning the machine on with the soap door open so we can see that we've got a good spray pattern. At our website you will find full instructions and tutorials for all appliances and remember to subscribe to our channel as that's what keeps us going and able to make these free videos for you. Now we're going to test the appliance here by turning it on and I've got someone on the switch to turn it off straight away so we don't end up with a flood but as you can see nice spray pattern coming through. Now we're going to clean the soap drawer. A lot of people are always complaining that their uh, conditioner or fabric uh, tray is not clearing the liquid during the wash cycle and this is usually due to either bad spray going into the drawer or the self siphoning system which I'm cleaning here which are the two tubes uh, basically do not cause a siphon action therefore the water just goes in and flows over the top. Now you need to clean this hole which you'll see me put the back of the paintbrush in in a minute. This one here. Just clean it as best as you can and then also clean the other part of the tube and this will keep a good siphon action going. Now once I finish this I'll show you the siphon action working. If this isn't working correctly by the way you will end up with water uh, hanging in the soap door after the uh, cycle has finished so this is the same fault. Now it's all clean and this tube at the bottom the larger tube fits over the top. Do not push it down where they don't go on top of each other. And it just locks in. Nice and simple. Now, I'll do a simulation of what should happen. When it fills up with water, it flows over the top of the shorter tube and therefore causes a siphon action which pulls the rest of the liquid out of the drawer. Now if this is still full at the end of the wash cycle it means your siphoning system isn't working correctly and does need cleaning. There you go, thanks very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and visit the website as that's what keeps us going and able to make these free videos for you.